1891, this trophy was delivered to South African shores, and from that time to this, two sides have lifted it more than any others. The Vodacom Bulls and DHL Western Province. Those two teams are about to run onto the field of Loftus Fersfeld right now to contest a North-South derby, which will decide a semi-final of the 2021 Carling Curry Cup. What a setup it is, this Western Province side defying the odds against the Sharks in the final round of their round-robin stages, getting a dramatic victory to earn entrance into this very fixture. And now they face a high-flying, reigning champion, a Vodacom Bulls side, facing all of the odds that you could. 14 points separating these two sides on the log in the end. That Sharks versus Greek was match is coming your way tomorrow as well. And then the final remains. But here at Loftus Fairsfeld, we're about to find out if Province can continue that good form that they showed against the Sharks, up against formidable opponents, the Bulls. They have massive players up front and some serious skill and experience out wide. And now we're looking at the two teams who are prepared to come onto this hallowed turf here in Chwane. Looking at the Western Province starting lineup, Sazi Sandi gets promoted to the starting lineup after an outstanding performance off the bench. Skara and Tubeni is back starting at hooker. Sergio Peterson with an outstanding strike rate is in the 15 jersey. Tim Swill, who has started every single match this season, starts again in the number 10 jersey. This Western Province side, the only side in the Curry Cup to have played all 12 of their fixtures this season with all of the crazy cancellations that we've had. Dion Ferry, captain in 2012, is on the flank and in spite of worries with his swollen thumb and another captain of a Curry Cup winning side, Juan de Jong, back on South African shores, starts in the 13 jersey. And here is the Blue Bull side, intimidating as they are. Skulk Erasmus is into the two jersey. Jan Hendrik Vessel shifts to the bench. Marcel Katsia returns to lead them. 30 cap book that he is. is Arno Boerta still starting, not captain this week. What a fearsome back row that is with Al Rachlo rounding it out. Zach Berger who spent five years in the youth system of Western Province starts at nine. Johan Khorsen, the classy number 10 who should be running this match if all, all things go according to the Vodacom Bulls plans. Plans rather he starts in the 10 jersey. And David Creel who spent a short time at the Stormers is in the 15. Cornell Hendricks self-named King of Wellington playing against two other Wellington individuals in Juan de Jong and Godlin Masimla starts on the wing. There's Ernst van der Rijn. So heavily touted during his youthful rugby. Captain of Paul Chum. South African schools 2015, SA under 20, 2016 and 17. Leads out this proud province side and you can hear the vibe there in the tunnel. You saw it when JJ Kotzer crossed the line to beat the Sharks at the end of the round robin stage. This still means plenty to this Western Province team preparing for a gargantuan fixture here this evening. Alongside me in commentary today, proud product of Queen's Quad College, and now Director of Rugby at Grey High, it's Robbie Kempson. Oh, good evening, Paul. Marcel Kutsiap taking out his charges. They know exactly what stands before them. The Western Province side that got their tails up from last week's performances. This is going to be a tougher ask, you'd think, particularly for the forward pack. And just with the experience out wide as well, the likes of Tumwet can strike as well. And with the sounds of the crowd fed in through speakers, David Creel is the last in line for the Vodacom Bulls as they take to their home turf once more. Marcel Kutsia back in the saddle. Last time he played was against Griquas, and he'll be looking to dominate here on his home turf and get to back-to-back -back home finals for the Vodacom Bulls. All well, the tension will be high in both camps. Both teams have leaked plenty of points as of all the Carling Curry Cup teams this season. AJ Jacobs, man with the whistle today. Quinton Elman waiting to review some tight calls which we can expect. This Western Province will certainly bring their very best to this high-flying team of Pretoria. The anticipation is almost at an end. This the biggest of domestic South African rugby fixtures ready to be kicked off by Johan Khorsen. 13 Springbok caps to his name. Seems that there should be plenty more. Of course, plenty of drama in his career. Played for Racing 92 and Montpellier as well. The man born in Burgersdorf.
Off we go in the semi-final of the Carlin Curry Cup. Great receipt to begin the game from Western Province. John Dobson lamenting the fact that they've been playing two flanks in the lock position due to all the attrition that the squad have experienced over the course of the season. Great contest at that ruck from the Vodacom Bulls. A box kick is contested by Edward van der Merwe, but Creel does exceedingly well. Well off his feet when contesting for that ball. Easy penalty for AJ Jacobs to give. And we've got a tack there in the way. Tack there and support your weight. Easy enough penalty to give first up. Well taken by David Krill. Not too much that Edwell van der can do about that. But the tackle player, Jean de Jong, he's got to move out the way first. And just unfortunately, Dion for his first penalty. And interesting enough, Johan Kwerse, no corner this time round. Points up first. For the first points, over it goes, the flags are raised and the Vodacom Bulls take the lead. Plenty waiting on the bench to do the Bulls. Saw a shark duplicy in picture there, fearsome figure thereof. Here's Tim Swill. This one's quite shallow. Province after it, plenty of pressure on the receiver, driving Mapu back. Inside. Zach Berger, looks like he'll be taking the responsibility himself to clear this ball. Not a contestable box kick, that. Out into touch, good clearance. Very good clearance. From his 22 to the halfway line. So we'll put three on the line. Tidy. Three on the line. Line is yours. Yep. That's yours. The returning into Benny. Puts it in. Well taken off the top by Johan de Toy. Sweel. Faree, the dummy receiver. Daimani forcing his way to ground. Sandy on the inside ball. Very well met. Paul the vet disrupted by that counter rack. And now they're in disarray, Western Province, Edwal van der Merwe. We'll have to take it into contact. Swill turns to the boot, this contestable. Rohan Nell after it. Too deep, and Tamboe receives easily. Here's Creel. Very well managed by the Bulls. Zekberger patiently waits again. structure that the Bulls have in possession is what's seen them to the top of the log this season. It's Berger again. This one will remain in field and Sweel is underneath it. Perfect to receive from Tim Sweel. Yeah, that was really an intelligent play. Ernst van Rijn, the captain, just shouldering the clock line and will pull out the way. Judd is really right in front of him. Called it straight out to AJ Jacobs. Kicking for the touchline this time, the Vodacom Bulls with some points on the board. Looking to bring the pain. The penalty is a fairly obvious one. You can see Mafu near side of, just comes right out of his lane, nudges him over. No need for it. Was in no position, position even to try to take that ball. Skulk Erasmus. Norci at the front of the line. Well, disruption from Western Province and Kutsia breaks away effectively. Berger, quick ball of the Yanku Swarapu. Dummy and go from Berger. The offload is spectacular to Norci. 
Vodacom Bulls on the charge now. Horsen sends it wide. What a try to open it up for the Bulls. It's Cornell Hendricks. What a try. What a build up. And more importantly, what a pass from Johan Horsen. Absolutely outstanding skill. And also for Cornell Hendricks to be in that perfect flat position out wide to ensure that he just cruised over the try line. The crisp service from Zach Berger. There's that pass, brilliant pass. And Hendricks with the finish. Well, they make it look simple when they're on form. That brutality up front setting up this try on the outside for the pride of rugby on the West Coast, Cornell Hendricks. Should be a relatively simple conversion for Johan Horsen. And over it goes, simple as you like. The Bulls take a commanding lead in the opening six minutes of this match. Troubling. Yeah, some good running from Marcel Kutzer. And the offload from Zach Berger. Deck pass, outstanding. And the positional play of Cornell Hendricks, just the same. John Dobson himself said that Johan Horsen, one of the best fly halves in the world, in his pre-match interview. Tim Swill. This one's short. Province are after it again. Very well taken by Lionel Mapu. The offload are responsible and Dion Fury with the utmost commitment. Devet. It's Tionison. Great run from Tionison. Puts it down, gets up and goes again. On the ball. The penalty goes against Western Province. On the ball and pulled over. First man in. He's having some gain is Zach Berger. Good touch finder. Nice little offload. It set up the momentum for the try. And now he's got a steal. All for a scrum off. And that's what Western Province schooling will do to you. The Paul Jim product. I'm going to let that one go. Good catch, Good catch, you see it. Tries to have another go at it. And then full release and over the ball. Strong from the, the scrum off. Matches the strength of Western Province's back. Erasmus this time to Alarach Low. Khorsen. Short ball from Forster to Mapu. An age old connection formerly from the Lions. Alarach Low on the charge. Zach Berger sends it blind. Khorsen again. It's off to Cornell Hendricks. Inside ball to Creel. Electrifying rugby of the on from the Bulls and it's Horsen to finish it off. Oh, it's cold stuff from the Vodacom Bulls and they're in again. No need to be muscling that up. Big runs from Elric Lowe and getting the momentum. Mapu himself also getting over the advantage line, but the interplay between these Bulls players, quite sublime for a try. Low coming around the corner at pace, scurrying to Benny. He's offloaded. And just a change of direction from Bursa. Again, that flat pass Hendrick reads so well. Back inside to Krill, and then just the interplay. Zach Berger once again on the inside to Bursa. Outstanding rugby from the Blue Bulls. What a start we're off to in this semi final. That inside ball from Krill, intelligent, giving it some air and the chance for the support to correct themselves and get underneath it. Johan Horsen enjoying that more than anyone else. Another conversion awaits an extra two points. Could well be 17 points to nil before 10 minutes are up. Horsen remains perfect this evening, 17-0. It's been emphatic so far from the Vodacom Bulls. Outstanding interplay. Again, just the skill set, but running onto the ball, ensuring that it, the continuity is kept alive. That was a bit speculative, but it finds the effort present of Zach Berger inside to Horsen. You're going to see a lot more of that, I would think. Underneath that, Yanku Swanapool did very well to gather that in the air. Almost losing control. El Rachlo, hard at work early on. 
Oh, they'll be shell shocked this Western Province side. Berger again to clear. He's all over this game. Peterson underneath it. Here's Sergio Peterson. Trying to spark a counter attack. Bulls defensive line. Solid. Ends on the rain. Devet sends it left. And here's Peterson. Grab it to the outside. Looks well measured. And Juan de Jong just misses out. But here's Horsen. May be able to start a counter attack. Well, the Bulls are up for it this evening. Could see it. Hard into the contact, as he has always done throughout his career. Berger, Horsen. This one aimed at Tambue. Plenty of contesters in the way, but he's done remarkably well to take that and throw it onto the inside. However, the ball has fallen into Western Province hands. And Dan Duplessis takes it in. The vet to Swill, Sergio Peterson. Big hits. Johan de Toy goes to ground. And a ferocious contest on the deck as well. The Lions. A solid clearance. The Bulls are contesting just about every ruck that Western Province set up. Peterson again receiving out wide to Juan de Jong. Endeavour to cross the halfway line, Western Province. And finally, they get a penalty their way, and the tap and goes. The choice from Paul Devet, who has found some space, sends it off to Juan de Jong. Edmo van der Merwe for the corner! Outstanding stuff from Western Province. Opportunistic play, and Edmo van der Merwe knows just how much work there is still to do to come back into this match. Interesting style to finish it off. That's exactly what Western Province needed. Little bit of possession, a quick tap from Paul yeah. to get the right decision. The acrobatics. Did that hand hit the grass? <laughs> See that quick tap again. Reaction from the Bulls, not the best. It was from Jean de Jong on the outside to Edwil van der Merwe with the finish. Look like, looks like all is well with the finish. Juan de Jong straightening the defender as much as he could. Edwil van der Merwe does not need much space and he's clearly full of flair. Tough one for Swill. Not over. The flags remain down. 12 points separate the sides. Yeah, to be a coach when a player does something as acrobatic as this, poor Dobber, he's got his five points done. And that's years of experience in the Varsity Cup teaching you how to celebrate tries as best you can. That player is on his way to the Lions shortly. Taking the time, Horsen gets us back underway. Misjudged from Western Province and it's fallen into the hands of Lionel Mapu. Stays in field very well. Bulls immediately on the, to the attack. Achiva Daimani initiating a counter ruck opportunity. There will be a Bulls put into the scrum. Just a bit of miscommunication. Need someone in the pocket as it goes through the hands. A little bit impeded there, you think. Pulled down by the scrum cap. That wasn't seen. Sneaky one on your hand to toy. He certainly noticed. This counteract was spectacular for Western Province. This one was good during the test matches against Argentina. Tom Foley was the TMI. He just had a quiet word downstairs to the referee and changed the decision. Coach! Fine! Set! Solid set on the first scrum. Should be an interesting contest going forward. Berger off to Harold Foster. Imposing figure in that number 12 jersey. He makes many meters before going to ground. Quick ball from Berger to Arnu Bota. 
It is a tri festival here in semi final one of the Carling Curry Cup. Yeah. Steady scrum, strong carries. And momentum aplenty here for the Bulls. What should have been a Western Province penalty has turned into a try for the Bulls. Just the go for. That's not good enough defense, unfortunately. Way too much. Almost seven, eight meters of go forward momentum. Wurter at pace. You're never going to stop him on the traverse angle. Fantastic line. Try number three for the vote upon Bulls. Zach Berger continues to be at the very heart of this Vodacom Bulls performance. The quick ball he's delivering after these line breaks, if you will. <laughs> that tells a story. Three from three becomes four from four for Johan Gossen. Arnav Wurta back from his stint overseas with Munster. This is the go for it. Excellent strong run from Harold Forster. Poor defence from Western Province. Anyone that gets that sort of momentum with a big burly loose forward running onto it, it's always going to be a try. Tim Sweel with another restart. Once again, the ball's underneath it. Eldrach low under pressure. Stays on his feet long enough for his teammates to get behind him. Secure possession. Mornay Smith has really been featuring for the Vodacom Bulls during this Curry Cup season. Berger to clear again. This time contestable. Hendricks after it. Peterson underneath. Well received. Into Benny. Devet, Van der Rijn will be desperate to put together some phases here. Western Province looked like a slight mishandle there, but on we go. Daimani trying to fight his way through some tackles. No support for Devet there. Tap and go again from Western Province. Come on, boys, Sorry, here's the mark. Seem eager to speed up a game which is already being played at a high pace. Again, possession key for Western Province. Territory is quite important for them as well. Just, particularly with the Ford battle there. On the back foot somewhat. Those heavy tackles coming in from the Bulls. Not enough go forward from their own forwards when they're carrying. Ramani back on the inside. It's got to be a clear release once he gets back on his feet. There was a clear release. It would have been open gates for the balls at that rack. Western Province may come to rue the fact that they're playing two flanks in the lock positions. David Mayhazen, no, no. two meters 08, 120 plus. He's missing today. They don't have very many line out options compared to the balls. Yeah. Tony Schickling's another one. Not easy to be losing players of any caliber at this stage. I did mention that more important is the URC, but this is just as important. It's going to be any, it's quite a heavy tackle there. He's really took out his support there and he went down right on his shoulder and head. Okay, this is Put in a hit on Lionel Pronier towards the end of the match. Proper tear in the lobe there. You have many of those, my friend. He's a tight head prop. <laughs> it's only just begun. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to be in a modelling ramp anytime soon. <laughs> Put in a hit on Lionel Pronier that must have changed this world. An absolute screamer off the bench. Now he's off. Get that here mended. Presumably to return with some stitches. I think you want to be a rugby player. Into Benny feeds. Van Rijn takes at the front of the lineup. Sweet relief for Province there. For Rhee off the Dan Duplessis with a short ball. Plenty of meters being made here for Western Province. As their set move has worked a treat. De Vett. Nettling for sheer fresh onto the field. For sheer for the line. 
driven back at the final moment. The vet with options now. Daimani has the stop as he receives that. Advantage. Penalty advantage. The vet sends it again. Peterson. Oh, he's nailed by Ruan Nortia. And now it's Daimani again. The line beckoning. Over he goes. Try from Hachiva Daimani. Did very well to spin out of the tackle. A bit more of this from Western Province. Exactly what they need. Ball in hand approach. Some quality ball off the line out, which allowed for a bit of momentum. They had the advantage accruing. But more importantly, Achiba Diamani has got over for Western Province second. You know that we clear everything. We are clearing everything. Yeah. Spent seven years at the Lions, did Diamani, but originally a Cape Town boy. Returned to Western Province this year. Here's Tim Swill. Something to check here for Mr. Mr. Immelman, the TMO. Mm. It was a very flat ball from Dion Furry. This angle, no, but yeah, it's not this one that they're concerned about. It's just the one before they score the try. So I'm just, we're just trying to get the director to play the right okay. one. Time off. Time off. Let's check this. Time so off now. The decision is try. We're looking for a possible forward pass. Well, that's the first of his two strong carries throughout this movement. Sergio Peterson I'm thought a little dive now. at the line might work. Not so. Cornell Hendricks meets him. There's absolutely nothing wrong I'm with that. I'm checking the, the, from the line out. I'm checking this. Yeah. Everything yeah. looks good there. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not checking that. I'm happy with that. I'm checking the last one. Yeah. Solid grounding. Yeah, me neither. No, let's just play on. They haven't got the view yet for Thank us. Thank you. So on-field no. decision stays. Play on. Time on. Yeah, there's nothing Close. at all in that sequence of play for the TMO to become involved. Nothing wrong with that pass. And the spin good. As is the conversion. And now a 12-point game it is again. After the Bulls got off to such a great start. 17 up at the moment. Yeah. Now Western Province have settled into the semi-final. And with the way they finished the match against the Sharks, the Vodacom Bulls should be aware. Horsen sends it high. This one's short. Giving more for Western Province to deal with. And once again, they've gone without it. Arnu Borta puts the Bulls back onto the front foot straight away. Yanku Swanapul now. Berger to Borta. Very solid combination that. Creel into the line at first receiver. Horsen. See, outstanding last weekend for Western Province. Here's Yanku Swanapul. Head down and go. He's done so much ball carry for the Bulls this season. Berger off to Skalk Erasmus. Berger again. Putting together the phases with ease. The Vodacom Bulls are. Swanapul this time around the corner. Had one tough for Forster to handle. He shovels it on to Madosh Tambwe. It's worked out pretty well. Strong handoff from Tambwe. Too slow, tackler. Too slow, wrong side. East to west. Bit too lateral that one. That time round from the Bulls. They're still getting just too much momentum off their carries, even from a stationary position. And the penalties that Western Province giving away. Almost elementary, just providing that extra bit of momentum for the Bulls as they walk towards another, what you'd expect, driving more line up. Every chance of it. At least three quality options for the line out receivers for the Bulls. Norcia, Swanapool and El Rachlo. Erasmus, Norcia. The front of the lineout. Western Province responded. 
And the Bulls work this one around the corner. It seems that the Western Province response has been strong and Berger sends it blind to Tambwe. Sheds another tackle. Berger. All at a flow. Berger again now off to Nokia. Berger on the corner. Once again building up the phases, the Bulls. Dion Bree couldn't help himself. Wins the side a penalty. Very important penalty. Dion Fury over the ball. Just battling to get the defenders to fold appropriately, get themselves in good positions to ensure they can get a double hits on these big runners that are coming around the corner at pace. We'll be encouraging that they finally stop the balls when they're making that kind of progress. And that's a definite positive for Western Province. The half that hasn't seen too many. Just rides the tackle on the ground. Perfect over the ball. He's done it many times. Two former Carling Curry Cup winners with Western Province, Scaron Tubeni and Dion Fury. Back into the starting lineup. Great addition to Western Province who've been leaking hookers lately. Now they've got Andre Hijo Fenter and JJ Kotzer in the ranks as well. Two more young prospects coming through Western Province Union. Front of the line out for Van der Rijn. Great pass from De Vett. Peterson into the line again. Wrapping around Nell. Sends that wide to Van der Merve. There's a lot of work to do. The flight on that ball allowed the Bulls to get into position. Nietling for Sheer. Certainly injected some energy off the bench. Tienison from the ground. Edwell van der Merwe has lost control in the tackle. Johan Gorsen. Unfortunate for Western Province. Just trying to get those runners coming and they actually are getting the momentum that they so desperately need to get their three quarters going. Good season he has had, Edwell van der Merwe. Just taking that ball into contact. In the other arm wouldn't have been a problem. We've had one scrum in the match so far, Robbie. He had some concerns for the Western Province side coming up against a very strong Bulls pack. What have you thought? Yeah, our first scrum, as expected, was steady enough for the Bulls in Western Province. No one quite giving an inch. This is the type of scrum Western. Pro oh, sorry, the Bulls, if they were to attack, good options on both sides. Well, if they try and milk a scrum penalty, probably an ideal situation in the middle of the field where they are right now. Skulker Asmus at hooker. Schooled just across the road, literally across the road at Afis. Replacing Sazi Sandy. We have the same stability. The ball's not making any progress. And now Zach Berger clears. Some seeming indecision in between the scrum and the number nine. Could see it. Clears from the base of the rack. He won't be wearing the nine jersey anytime soon. Janko Swanepoel takes it in and Horsen is set to clear it. See some space he can kick it into, and he's found the green in between the two province players. Bounces into the arms of Peterson. Sends this one up to chase after it, but he's been impeded. Yep. Meaning Corson has all the time in the world. Oh, he's been nailed by Fushier. What an impact he's had off the bench. Ruan Nortier there to clean up for the balls. As he so often is. Very good. Requesting some big boys to carry this one up. And they are there for him. Arnu Bota. 
Province. Insult to injury for Western Province. Penalty advantage. No arms tackle. So Chiva Daimani with an arms tackle. Bit of a grass cutter. Again from a standing start. The Bulls getting momentum. Sir Neil Peterson played his underage group rugby at school at fullback. If we are judging that he wasn't impeded, <laughs> we can see going over the top of the shoulder. Must be wondering how we're going to stop these big fellas. And they've still got so much firepower on the bench to bring on. And the loose forward in the lock position. You mentioned them in the build up via Yastiankamp, 20 years old. Bright future Jacques Duplessis at the other end of his career as Khorsen knocks it into touch. You say at the other end of his career, you're absolutely right. Telling to Jake before and it's exactly what he's trying to do to build depth with his squad is bring back those older players that you don't have to sort of bring through the mill. If you look at how young this Western province you know, pack of age is, in consideration of what they're up against. It's a tough ask. Some youngsters on the bench as well. But that tough ask, they're doing quite well at. After the highly touted Vodacom Bulls were wiping the floor with Western Province in the opening 10 minutes, they've kept it at a 12-point margin. Erasmus finds Swanapool, Zach Berger, perfectly worked. And now to Khorsen, this is a coach's dream. Every pass in the bread basket, Madosh Tambwe on the outside. Running with freedom, brought down by Duplessis. Look how much ground the Vodacom Bulls have made. Morne Smith with a brilliant offload to Rohan Norkia. And now to the blind again. It's Lionel Mapu. Gets in there. The Vodacom Bulls are flying high here this evening. Very nicely orchestrated try. Team try from the Vodacom Bulls. Little drift on the outside by Lionel Mapu. Sets it up. It was the earlier move, and Achieva Daimai. Sorry, Matosh Tamwe gets the go for it from the line outs and then running the board place. This offload for Mornay Smith was an excellent one to Nokia. And then back of the, of the open side, line side. Good pass again from Zach Berger, finding a drifting line on the pool. Haven't seen that since, well, the Lions days. Yeah, the good times. <laughs> Always got time for the rooster, Lionel Mapu. Try scoring machine for the Lions now. Signed with the Vodacom Bulls, as is Harold Foster, as is Jacques van Rooyen, as is Ruan Kombrink. That Lions generation well and truly raided at this point, and the Sigma Lions have plenty of work to do before their next journey in the URC. Johan Khorsen will be preparing for that journey with this very side, the Vodacom Bulls. Perfect as you like from Johan Khorsen. Another two to the tally. It's 31-12. Ball retention, momentum, offloads. That one from Mornay Smith. And then the decision making at the base from Zach Berger. Just the slightest of drift to get around swell. Lionel Mapu. Different feelings in the two coaching boxes. Tim Sweel gets us back underway. A mountain of work for Western Province to do already. Alarach Lowe. Unmovable under that high ball. Berger looking for Horsen. And this time. It is Johan Khorsen with the responsibility to clear. The result is the same. Plenty of distance put between the Bulls and their own try line. He's 23 years old, Mono Smith. He's been at the Bulls since 2014. Remarkable dedication from young age. Western Province's line out. They'll know they're under pressure. The Bulls will start contesting. And to Benny feeds. Swanapool contests and it comes back on the Vodacom Bulls side. That's Jan Hendrik Vessels onto the field. A kick into space. Peterson has time to consider his options. 
sends it flying back downfield. Great kick right down the touchline to a dangerous target, though. Corson into the arms of Nell. Sweel. Edwil van der Merwe. Blue Bulls defensive line looking strong, but Edwil van der Merwe will always test that with the dancing feet. The vet away to Sweel. Trying to give the ball some air, Western Province. The vet. Tienison. He's gotten through plenty. Oh, look at that from Juan Norquea. Just the accuracy of the cleaning. Not quite up to it. Person's keen to get things on the go. Good touch finder. Second one for Ruan Nokia. Good take off as well. There you go. The cleaning just not good enough over that ball. Classic South African hard man. Ruan Nokia. Oh, Robbie. Looks like the Vodacom Bulls are getting ready to crank it on Western Province right now. Another attacking lineup. I think the only concern for Jake would be that they're almost playing too well, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> it's my it's here. Okay, you can't expect to break it the men's they stay the same with that. So. Well, Robbie, all jokes aside, there have been concerns that moving to the URC, there's going to be much tougher opposition for the likes of the Bulls to face. The first match, I believe, is against eight-time champions. Yeah, this is the first one is against uh, the RDS, against Leinster. Not many teams won there ever. <laughs> Jan Hendrik Vessels onto the field to replace Skulk Erasmus. He's made a great change to the hooker position. Formerly a prop and a lock at school level. Fires that one into the line out. Great contest from Adams van der Rijn. Norkia fighting on the ground. Is that entry by six? All sorts going on at rack time. This is old school. Penalty goes the way of the Bulls in the end. Yeah, unfortunately, just coming in from the side. It's a, it's a tough one, considering how the ball was juggling around at the bottom of the ruck. Good contest in the air from Johan Dutoy to ensure that they got the Bulls under a bit of pressure. Jens van Rijn getting up in front, throw a little bit short. You can see the ball's bobbling around, so <laughs> difficult not to put a hand on it. Norkia this time unimpeded in the Vodacom Bulls set a rolling mall, which is looking pretty good. Jan Hendrik Vessels now unprotected on this side of it. Must break away and set a rack. And they'll start again. Swanapool. Dion Fareed desperate for the turnovers. He's seen the effects of Vodacom Bull momentum in this area of the field. Norkia, pick and go. Western Province defense holding up well. Yanku Swanapool repeating the dose. Here's Jan Hendrik Vessels. Zach Berger just waiting behind his forwards for his time to clear. But for now, it's all muscle from the Bulls. Go again. Tackle balls, not a mold. Zach Berger getting troubled by Leon Lyons. Oh, massive hits from Western Province. That's the kind of dedication they need. Sunday back onto the field. Aldrich Lowe trying to break tackles. The first he does, Leon Lyons brings him to ground. Keeping it real simple here, the Bulls. A try now would spell real trouble for DHL Western Province. A penalty advantage. Horsen with the cross kick. Tough one to handle for Hendricks. Number three, back foot off side. Always difficult when you're right on your line defending. You always want to try to grab one or two of those inches. As far as he's saying, he's just come off sides. Quick tap. Everybody's doing it these days. Alarach low. Not a bad one for the tap and go. Straight at the teeth of the Western Province defense and look how close he's come. 
Zach Berger attempts to wheel off sides, but the try is scored in any case. The power of the Vodacom Bulls is overcoming DHL Western Province here this evening. Marcel Kitz here gets the flowers. Just muscling it up. It's all it took from this Bulls pack. Players in support are plenty. Running onto the ball. Marcel Kutsia gets the momentum and the ball over the try line. It's a bit of a riot here in the first half. Oh, when Marcel Kutsia opens up his eyes and staring down Tim Sweel. Tries must be running through his mind. And tries they were. It could become 38 points to 12. So just as Western Province were keeping it tight. Vodacom Bulls have applied themselves here at the end of the first half and just run away. Over it goes from Johan Horsen for the reigning champions. Momentum of plenty. It's the ball carriers. It's the supporting behind from Alric Lowe. It's everything coming together for this bull side. Van Sail there as well. Tim Sweel. Alder Hulo receives again. This time he has time to build up a head of steam. Half time approaching. Zach Berger taking control of affairs once more. He will clear this one. This one. Right on the touchline, asking the question of Sergio Peterson, how well has he done to take that ball and move forward? He pulled a bit. Lions. Wow, he's been working hard, especially on defense. Ron Norgia in with the tackle. Unsurprisingly, still at work. Debet, Daimani, quick play to Sweel. Ron now, Duplessis trying to keep it moving, and they do. Daimani off to Sweel on the touchline. Flag is up from Twengi Le Jarez Way. You've got to give it to West Bromwich. They are trying. Just been suffocated by a very strong defensive outfit and the hits that have been coming in. What a talent Jan Hendrik Vessels is. The only question really, what position he's going to play. Swanapool this time at the front. Look at the options that the Vodacom Bulls have at line out time. It's got to be so tough to contest against that. Oh, the hits. Sazi Sandy and Ntubeni in combination driving the Bulls backwards. And Berger to clear again. Use it nine. Clean strike on that clearance. He's so very good at those. Tambue underneath it and retrieves it as well. Sergio Peterson with the contest after that, running away. Yeah, he slapped it out of the. Definitely slapped it out of the scrum of his hands. What a predator he is, though, Peterson. Any chance there's a chance for a try, he's on it. Brilliant take from that man in fiction, Madosh Tamwe. 30 seconds to play. Khorsen sends the ball flying down the Loftus touchline, and the Vodacom Bulls will have yet another try scoring opportunity in this first half. Yeah, this is the take from Tamwe. Brilliant one it was. Big contest in the air from Sergio Peterson. And just as this goes back to Riga, it's slapped out. No question about the penalty. Cheeky. Vessels. This time, no jump, and Swanapool sets the rolling mall. This could be trouble for Western Province. Vessels waiting in the boot, but once again, DHL Western Province have driven the balls backwards, and it must be free. Foster puts it onto the toe. Mapu after this. Edward van der Merwe in control. Runs it over the dead ball line. And the first half comes to an end. And the home side have been truly dominant. 
Van de Jong has plenty to think about along with all of the experienced heads of DHL Western Province and there are plenty of experienced heads around. They need to find a way to turn things around in the second half, trailing by 26 points as they are. They are going to have to stem this tide from the Vodacom Bulls who have scored five tries in the first half to make the score 38 points to 12. All systems go for the second half in the first semi-final of the 2021 Carling Curry Cup. The Vodacom Bulls finished nine points clear of second place in this year's log, and they're showing that they are good for that. 38 points to 12, they start this second half, and Western Province have a mountain to climb. Marcel Tienison effective in the first half. Tim Sweel, the mainstay of this Western Province side. Up it goes. It has to be all Western Province, so they'll be going out of the semi-final. Lionel Mapu struggles to control. Juan Norcia there to tidy up. Berger looks for his captain. Kutsia is well met in the tackle. Very energetic front row of Western Province. Berger again. Clearing very well. This one aimed for touch and out into touch safely. Now Western Province with all the work to do. I think they did it first up. Ed Wolf and Amava could have got a hand to their ball. Potentially might have got a try right from the kickoff. But they've got the balls where they need them and that's firmly stuck in their own half. Tough times at line out for Western Province. And again, they lose the ball under a contest from the Vodacom Bulls. And Johan Gorsen sends that one flying downfield. Edward van der Merwe and Sergio Peterson all on their lonesome. Peterson wisely puts boot to ball. But he does not put boot to ball with precision out on the full. Heading back to from whence he kicked it. Nicely contested. Yanku Swanapool. Daimani jumping that time with one supporter in front of him. It's not going to get any easier for Western Province securing their own line out ball. Almost had better luck contesting the Vodacom Bulls. Time Al Rachlo in the center down to Berger, Horsen to Forster in the midfield, right across the gain line, and emphatically so as well. Here's Horsen inside ball to Norkia across the 22 meter line of Western Province, and just a couple of movements. There's some more aggressive defense. It's just those strike moves, they're getting over that vantage line way too easy. In the channel between fly off and centre, momentum of plenty. Good tackle, must from the under to it. Hate to see the condition of Sazi Sunday's ear underneath that strap. He plays on stalwart that he is product of St. Andrew's College Coach. boy fine oh. sit pull to their feet oh, power from the Vodacom Bulls finally and Daimani breaks away the offload to Devet. Tambo has two players to cover he does well to buy some time Ruan now Vodacom Bulls all over, they're swarming on that ruck. They were threatening that all through the first half. Hands from Sandy, oh, met! Sergio Peterson in the midfield, he does well to offload, and Dan Duplessis finds a way forward. Disarray from Western Province, but a penalty comes their way. It's just the quality of the possession, is it? Not quite there for Western Province. Giving their backs no real impetus. So running sideways, passing sideways, and 
easy for the defence just to shift. To the swivel. A great deal of height on that one. Outside of the 22 of the Vodacom Bulls, go DHL Western Prophets. And if you see a bit of go for it, you can see his hands on the ground past the ball. His father is a springbok and his uncle is a springbok, Dan Dupasi. That's the winter doesn't agree. <laughs> the vet, oh, almost getting that beyond Ron Norke. It was closer than he thinks. Never stops working, this man. It's also the reaction because that's what the bailout in front has come straight through the line out. Just not popping it up in the right direction. Having a good time in the Bulls box today. And why not? You're feeling confident they can secure this victory, holding a 26 point lead as they are. 35 minutes to play. Can Western Province have a resurgent second half as they did against the Sharks? Bulls did very well at the last scrum. You can see them starting to mount that pressure. The last one, Darmani did very well to get the ball out. Coach. Expecting this type of position a bit more of the same. Bye. Set. Daimani quick to clear again, this time to Devet. Wrap around from Devet, and now he's isolated. Juan de Jong gets the offload from the ground. Having to scramble to make it work at all times, Western Province. Tiernison somehow keeps finding a way to cross that gain line. Devet on the snipe, tough one for Juan de Merva. Tim Sweel takes it forward. Great ball that for Sergio Peterson, who looks inside for Edwell van der Merwe. Two tries for the winger. What a try that is for Western Province. Nothing on whatsoever. Sergio Peterson, excellent line at pace. Also the attention from Paul De Vett to ensure that he floated it properly. And also think of Edwell van der Merwe and the line he had to run. You can see out of absolutely nothing. Fanamava sees the opportunity back on the inside from Peterson. Excellent work. Conversion is successful from Tim Sweel. And one last look at the try. Peterson finally finding a way through that tight defensive line right next to the rack from the Vodacom Bulls and Edwell van der Merwe, the recipient of a great offload. Corson. Cornel Hendricks is after this and Edwell van der Merwe does well to get away. Mm, he's been met in defense. Big hit from guess who? Ruan Norkia. De Vett to Swill. Peterson. Western Province clear their lines. In position as always, Johan Horsen sends it flying back for Krill to chase. Peterson under no pressure. Great tackle from Krill in the end, bringing him to ground. Play starts in Western Province's half. Andre Hugo Fenter onto the field. Peterson with the offload. Spectacular as it was. Dan Duplessis tackled fairly after kicking that ball. Or was he? Penalty given. Thanks, Chetty. Just a late tackle. Right on the borderline of legality there. Creel will say he was committed. Robbie, your thoughts? <laughs> I've seen penalties given for less. <laughs> Diplomatic as always. Tim Sweel will look for touch. Tight angle right up against the touch line. 
Yeah, that's light. <laughs> Western Province have set up a rolling mall. Andre Hijo Fenter in the boot. And that momentum still going. Can they wrap it around the corner? Alra Khlo engaging in some dark arts. Devet sends it away to Duplessis. And working hard in the second half. Devet off to Dian Bleler. Another front row replacement for Western Province. And now Vodacom balls all over the ball. They missed it, but they've got it. A penalty comes their way. The accuracy at the ruck in. The ruck from Western Province has been poor this evening. It's allowed the Blue Bulls, or the Bulls players, to get over it quite comfortably, even when they have numbers at the breakdown. Horson. Clearance that takes the Vodacom Bulls beyond the halfway line. Isolated just for a second. The Ulrich Lowe and Ruan Nokia straight over it. Ruan Nokia, where is he not on a rugby field? Of course, reigning Perry Cup champion with the Bulls. Vessels to feed this line out. Swanapool at the front, clean takedown, straight to Horsen, what a way to start a play, and Forster is after this. Great work from Sergio Peterson, with a diving pass, and Ebel van der Merwe. In conjunction with him, those two have been working well together. The ball's crying out for obstruction, not enough there. And knock on in the contest. Just couldn't get his knee to ground quick enough. And Saul Tennyson, pretty happy with the way he's gone this evening. Much of it's been in vain, but he has been tireless in his efforts, as was Leon Lyons before he was subs. Now with a couple of new front rankers, Western Province were facing plenty of pressure from the Vodacom Bulls scrum. Let's see how they hold up now. Young front row as well. Andre Hijo Fenter, 19, 20 years old. Dion Bleeler, he was SA under 20 in 2019. This is the first collapse scrum of this match. Unbelievably so. <laughs> I've noticed, Rob. Yeah, flowers all over the world going, oh, the scrum. <laughs> so Mone Smith and Dion Bleeler side. Bleeler, formerly of Oakdale, was once hero of the day playing for Southwestern Districts at Craven Week. Since then, he has grown his beard as quickly as he possibly can. goes the way of the Vodacom Bulls. Trouble in the front row. Best that I turn to my right. Robbie Kempson. Your word. I think Dion Blula shouldn't be very happy with that decision. Watch Mornay Spiff as he cranks his right arm and drops his shoulder. You can see it. Just watch that right shoulder. Just drops it on the inside and takes Blula down. So for me, that penalty should have gone the other way. Takes a specialist to spot that, Robbie. Johan Horsen has an opportunity to add another three points. Interesting that the Bulls taking their points here. Clock management, no doubt. Still holding a healthy lead, but Western Province showing great initiative here in the second 40 minutes.
green and grand from Johan Horsen. Over it goes. 41 points to 19. question was always going to be if the Bulls could maintain that momentum they had from the first to the second half. They haven't been able to. In fairness, Western Province have had much more of the possession. Nietling for Shear onto the field. So a full front row replaced for Western Province. Short one from Swill. Fantastic work from Mapu. Under pressure to knock that back onto the Vodacom Bulls side. And Zach Berger ready to clear way to Horsen turns straight to the boot sees a gap between two province players bisects it and finds the touchline these forwards have seen that all evening so far the ball in front of them territorial battle being dominated by Horsen's boot to feed a troubled line out Van Marijn straight down off the top Sweel to Peterson after Dion Free might have been a high tackle and he goes for Shear he's been full of energy this evening Bleeler behind the game line loosely presented but Province come away with it Daimani Eldrach low. Turnover is good from the number eight. Back in possession for the Bulls. They've got numbers to the right. Swanapool, Horsen's hands are fantastic. Creel off to Mapu. And now it's Hendricks who turns to the boot. Out of the kicker, 30. He's got an option. An option. <laughs> JJ Jacobs. Slowing down Juan de Jong. You've got an option. And the option taken by de Jong. He's done Western Province a favour there. Quick tap against the touchline. Not the wise idea. Western Province have been chasing those quick taps today, though. Deep in your half like that. Nah, not the best. <laughs> oh, Rick Lowe. Strong over the ball. Excellent turnover. And there's no question that my pool's in front of that. Note forward. take up the line out last time the pressure remains on Fenter feeds Van der Rijn at the front again taking responsibility and taking the ball cleanly the rolling ball begins Vodacom Bulls really wrapping around the side to disrupt this province mall can they secure ball here yes they can Devet clears away to Duplessis Daimani getting involved as he so often has in this match Bleeler has entered the field with a new energy Tap and go, there it is again. De Vett off to Fouchier. Forward come Western Province. They've got the wind in their sails now. That's the toy. De Vett, another penalty advantage. Juan de Jong has a go at the line in the face of some stern defense. The right place to do the quick tap in the 22. A little momentum on their side. It's good to see the fight in this Western Province side. 22 points between them. They need to score next to DHL Western Province. Dion Ferreira went head first to a wall of defenders. Serving to Western Province Rugby, he's been two separate stints, of course, Dion Ferry. Against all odds, leading that Western Province side to their 2012 Curry Cup Championship before heading overseas. Also played for the Blitzbox. He's done it all as Dion Ferry. And if you don't know, he plays hooker as well. Anything to look at there, Robbie? Not for me. De 
slips into the tackle. He's gone head first. Here you go. Marcel tries to lower his height for the tackle. AJ agrees. He must be doing something right. <laughs> wow. After some consideration, Robbie. Brave. That's all I can say. Very brave call. Just had a penalty against them at the very last scrum that they set. It's more that a bit of the momentum as far as the scrums are concerned has gone towards the Bulls as the game has gone on. They've been applying more pressure and they haven't made any changes besides a hooker. Simpiwe Matanzima and Jacques van Rooyen waiting on the bench. Jacques van Rooyen doesn't get much more experience than that. You can see that both limbering up with Jacques Dutrecy. It's an intimidating bench. Coach! Tim Sweel not waiting behind the scrum. The back line split. Tim Sweel to the right. Defet clears. Off to Sweel, who changes direction. Dan Duplessis under pressure. Off to Edwell van der Merwe, who has it all to do. Penalty advantage being played. Edwell van der Merwe. Somehow, someway, he wants another look. This might just be a try, and what a try it would be. Predatorial try scorer Edwell van der Merwe. So, uh, on field decision is uh, no try. We're not, we're not clear that uh, there was grounding. And um, just for some additional information, we were playing at Barney for balls back on side. 100%. AJ was going to have a look if yes. he is grounding, clear grounding or not. So, on field decision, side. no try. That's correct, yeah. Normally they're a bit more convincing than that, huh? the players, that is. <laughs> He's not convinced. <laughs> he wants to have a look himself. He's edging closer to the big screen. Here it is. Ooh, this looks reasonably good. Edwell van der Merwe. One hundred percent commitment to the cause. He had about three defenders in front of him, and look at the size of the men as well. Managing the contact, corkscrewing, keeping his hand clear of the touchline. In control of it. In control of it. So AJ, AJ, there is no control over, the, over that ball. Um, so you can stick with the on-field decision, no try. Okay. Are uh, we going then uh, back for the penalty against Bulls? Okay. That is great. No try. No control of the ball, playing advantage. Um, yeah, backline offside. Backline offside. That's right, oh. backline offside. Love no, to get Dubbo's comments on that one. Okay, yeah, I'll leave it there. There are some jaws that requires being picked up from the floor right now. Just want to explain to you. It'll find a man of offside. It'll be the filthiest of all. Just want to explain to you there. You lost control of the ball. Okay. Yeah. So what do you want? Scrum down? Scrum. They go again. Okay. Well, the problem with the scrum, if they do get a good one, which they, we haven't seen as of yet in the game, this does give them a double-sided attacking options, but if that scrum goes to ground like it did in the last, or it's put under a bit of pressure, you just see this again in real time. Very unfortunate. They need a solid set piece. Then. They went down on the tight hit side the last time. If it's stationary, it makes it that much easier to defend the scrum off to make it a defensive scrum off to make an easier decision. So what they really want is a solid enough scrum to ensure they can keep those loose boards of the balls down and the scrum off guessing which side they go. Last time they started out to the right. Tim Sweel changed direction of the back line and sent it to Edward van der Got over the line Coach. to not score the try. Fine. Sit. Wow, that is dominance from the Vodacom Bulls. Some. Wow. That's fair enough. 
neither front row really going in any direction. It's not more just straight up. So you reset the order of the day. Major. Dion Ferry keeping that ball in the scrum. Some experience there recognizing the chaos that might have existed had it gone free. Just as the initial pressure comes on, you can see it pops up on the left side. Neither front row going forward together. Lock slotting in at number eight now, Dion Ferry. Continuing to display his versatility on rugby fields. Taba on to the flank. Daimani had a great match off onto the bench. Coach! Five! Ooh. Set! Yes. Penalty earned. Tap and go from Paul Defet. Tim Sweel. Centimeters short from the line now. Off to Tienison, who has been finding a way through the defensive line. Rushed from Devet, knocked on by Province. Now you can sense the frustration. Now Newton for Shaver. Look, just says it all. Number one, number three, and number four. Tight eight, straight down. Spot on. Rushed it a little bit. Anything that was forward. Time off. And keeping a straight face. There's changes now being made. From Rome comes on. Tanzima. What a talent he is. He's come on. Come on. Small player. I'm shocked you can see. He's a massive unit. Big in, big caps for Montpellier. He's back in South Africa. Coach. Shock you can see. Set. No reset scrums until the second half, probably. Until they change those front rows. Two big turnovers towards the end of the Sharks game last weekend, Matanzima. Scrums work first off. Let's get back to that stand. Now both sides going down in very similar ways. On their own five meter line. Vodacom Bulls will be very keen to get this one right. Have a cool, calm clearance. Coach! Fine! Sit! Some go forward for the Bulls this time around, and finally they get that penalty from the scrum they have been seeking. They had it from the hit. As they got the hit, you could see Matanzimai had the measure of his opposite number. And with that momentum, the ball came in rather quickly to ensure that they got a Western Province on the back foot. The penalty. Chance gone of begging you'd think for Western Province to score some points. You see from this hit, step backwards there. You see Blula takes a step back, Nietzsche Pushir is taking a step back. They maintain their momentum straight through power scrum. That's what Frank Barankas love. Simpiwe Matanzima counts himself among that number. Now the Bulls taking their time to make their way to a line out which is beyond their halfway line, courtesy of the clearance from Jan Horsen. Not here in the center of the line out, Zach Berger under pressure. Goes well to dummy. Jacques Duplessis. Unable to pass due to the presence of Nierling Fischier. Carries it around the corner. Structured build up from the Bulls. Marcel gets here finding a way through those onrushing defenders. The cross kick to Tambue. Receives it but is driven back by Peterson. 
Edward van der Merwe in position to cover Peterson. He made that hit. And now on his own. He's turned to his boot. Keep moving, Povans. Not too often employed, but that's a clean hit. Clearing the ball. The line-out will be just beyond Western Province's 22-meter line. A solid performance this evening from Edward van der Merwe. Just the one try. Good. The whole Western Province team thought it was a try. They were already back Time. in their own half. Okay. He's off with the captain down. What a pivotal try that would have been for Western Province as well. Put them on 26 points as it stands. They're still okay. chasing a hefty deficit. So it's fun, right? Just field. cramping up. It's Keegan Johannes comes on to the field. Very good evening for Zach Berger. All good, Captain. Another proud good. product of West Coast Rugby in South Africa, Keegan Johannes. And Robbie, you were saying before the match, it just makes such a big difference to have the kind of locks that the Bulls have behind their front row, sizable. Yeah, definitely a blessing. You want to be a prop for that sort of weight behind you. And those engines work pretty hard. I mean, Ruin or Kia still going flat out in this game. Came on in the first half, Vessels. Finally misses his target. Bashir tidies up. Western Province can start a counter attack from deep. Juan de Jong knocks it on in the contact. Immediately turning over possession. Hungry for turnovers at all times. Jacobs knows his man. That's Parker went over it, blew his whistle. Said, oh, you got to get that one. Bit of enterprise, as is needed from Western Province. Sean de Jong. And the ball dislodged by the tackle. It's got to be tough when one of your most experienced players making a mistake like that. It's just all going against DHL Western Province. Not just here in the second half, but the match in general. Vodacom Bulls just far more accurate than the first 40. Got off to a screamer of a start to this match as well. Coach! Hip, hip, hip! Hip, guys! Hip! On the hip! Fine! Ooh. Sit! Sit! Fancying themselves at scrum time. And they've got another penalty advantage coming their way. And second advantage, second advantage for 10 province of side. Another penalty infringement immediately thereafter. Forster fighting his way to the ground. Around the corner from Matanzima. And here's Cornel Hendricks. Yetling for sure. Continues to get through plenty of work. Matanzima changing the angle. Oh, just missing Jacques van Royen, who is through a gap. Option. Yep. Captain, you've got an option. Scrum or number 10 offside. 10 offside. So, could see the size that. His new look pack, just let's have a crack as well, but perhaps a driving more. Province, number nine. Swill, identified as creeping up beyond the line. He was way offside. Pretty much at the base of the scrum. It's go time right now for the Vodacom Bulls, make no mistake. There's Via Yastian Kamp standing next to El Rachlo. This young loose trio, frightening the prospects that they have going into the future, the Bulls. But right now they'll be thinking, it's time to roll this ball over the line. Another attacking line out, the line outs which have been looking so good. Vessels to feed. Back of the line out again for Vessels. This time it's on the money to Stienkamp, quickly away to Forster. It's well tackled. Giannis inside ball to corner, Hendricks! 
the one and only Cornel Hendricks, he's over again. The smile that lights up South African rugby shines once more. The set play from the Bulls, the mock at the driving mall, round the back it was, the angle of the run, and the almost dive, you could say, from Cornel Hendricks. Have a look at this. Over he goes, over the tackle, flying for the try, Cornell Hendricks. What a stalwart he's been. Not for yep. just the Bulls, of course. Yeah, and Horsen to convert. 51 seconds. Over it goes from Corson. Flags raised. 48 points on the board with time to play. Loving his evening, Cornell Hendricks. It's the angle. Drawn the defense, says Keegan Johannes. And over the top goes Cornell Hendricks. Infectious smile, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. Up it goes from Sweel. Corson underneath this. No pressure. And you can clear it before a Western Province player arrives. as much distance as he might have hoped for. Son on the 19 jersey, Godlin was similar. The front, it's Johan de Toy, straight down to Masimla. Clean ball for Western Province at last from the lineup. Baba fighting in the tackle, moving forward. Masimla to Sweel. De Jong carries. Now back up inside is Dion Blielem. Masimla has to navigate through a couple of province players and the De toy finds a gap no support for the offload penalty advantage for dhl western province Carver with the pick and go he's had some attitude Release. since he's come on Release. off the bench pressure on masimla we're going back for the penalty Discipline, boys. Yeah, Sweel right. punches it into the corner. Western Province have a chance. Time off. Send him on. Oh, just has crept a bit. Probably the to taking a number of steps before passing. The one part of the game that has been pretty decent when they've got it going is the driving wall. Yep. Opportunity here for Western Province. Still time off. I'm waiting for the subs. Yep. Saw Stravino Jacobs make his way onto the field. Subs, mate. Another product of Western Province rugby. Paul Jim one. Boy, just 21 years old. He's made a real splash here at the Vodacom Bulls. Also on Chris Smith, who attended Sex and Marty's. The Bulls recruitment going very well as they prepare for the URC. Here's Fenter. Front of the lineup for Western Province, Justin Basson, the receiver. That rolling ball not very well set, and Fenter breaks from the back over the line for the try. He's caught the Bulls sleeping. Andre Hooker, Fenter, gets the try. Ball set, not the best from Western Province. What they did have is a subtle base to screw around the corner. It was the dummy from Dion Free that brought the defenders. They thought he had it. Andre Yukafenta is the man that's gone through the middle and scored the try. Clever from Free and strong from Fenta. Was that a set play, Robbie? Swill. 
Oh, that's not going to hold its line. Away to the left, no extra points. Have half the points the Bulls do. Still a lot of work to do. Gets through Nokia and Hendrix. The dummy from Dian Ferry flummoxes the defence of the Bulls. And the defence is going to have to take a step up against European competition, that much is for sure. All these teams, of course, preparing for the challenges which are to come. Chris Smith replaced Johan Horsen. He's been an able replacement throughout this Carlin Curry Cup campaign and indeed ever since he arrived at the Bulls from the Pumas. Smith. Faree is underneath this. Ronald Hendricks chasing Faree. Absorbs the pressure and gets the ground. Off to Swill. Western Province now trying their hand from very deep. Sergio Peterson muscling up to the hit on Ulrich Low. Puts him on his back somewhat. Passant. They can go around the corner. Nietling for Shear, but not Gear is over this one. Penalty to Province. The tap and go from deep in their own half. Godland Massimla is heading straight up the Loftus pitch. Wide it goes to Rikas Pretorius. And now to Lates, who's made his way onto the field. Lates. Elusive runner. Tackle made, yes. Low must release. Peterson at first receiver. Always dangerous with ball in hand. It's there for Massimla. Quick ball for Western Province now as they're moving upfield. Across the 22 of the Vodacom Bulls. Swill to the line. He throws a speculator to the inside. Jacques Van Royen ends up with the ball in his clutches. Well, Jan Gossen. What a clearing kick that is. Sweet relief for his team and he's loving it. The province players are walking back slightly dejected. And you can expect that. All that hard work. For the torpedo is to send them all the way back downfield. Well, the wry grin from Jan Horsen and to catch that one over his shoulder and improvise. In it comes from Andre Hijo Fenter. Johan de Toy, the recipient in the center of the line of the Bulls, not really contesting DHL Western Province's ball right now. And they have a rolling ball moving forward. Fenter. Hoping that this can keep its form and he can stay at the back. And he has done just that. And now they find a way to go forward again. Splintering away though. No more stretcher. And they clear eventually. Pretorius now way to Van der Merwe. Sergio Peterson does exceedingly well. Van der Merwe in some space. Grubbers towards the corner. Pressure on Hendricks now. Hendricks sheds the first. Wonder Jong Khan. Edwin Van der Merwe has the ankle tap. Buying time for his team and winning a penalty. It's Cornell Hendricks. Such a valuable player to have as an asset in your team. Three Western Province defenders speeding up on him. Calm as you like. He saves the day. This will be concerning because there's a lot more rugby to come. So the wear and tear on these squads will be significant. Won't be welcoming back their spring box for a little while as well. They'll be starting off the tournament as they as they are, pardon me. Through the tackle of the Yom. Edel van der Merwe just managed to snap his ankles. Cornel Hendricks will play on. Vessels to Alderach Low in the center of the lineup. Oh, pick and go around the corner from Jan Hendrik Vessels. That's gone forward. Taking out the supporter. Going back for a penalty against DHL Western Province. He's been hard at work today, Johan de Toy. No faults there. Been contesting at line out time and all over the field as well. What about this young gentleman right here? His future is looking very, very bright. 
Jake White making the call to move Jan Hendrik Vessels to hooker. And he is shining there. Smith. Inside the HL Western Province's 22 meter line. The Bulls now stroll up to take the line out. Toy penalized for pulling down Matanzima. In it comes from Jan Hendrik Vessels. Trick play. Jacques Duplessis. That pass may be forward. Just dive over there. Yeah. The right result. The pass was definitely forward. Penalty. A better option for Western Province. Been so successful that line out time. They're trying new things, the Vodacom Bulls. The Western Province were forced into trying new things early in the second half when they were losing a fair bit of their ball. Put some angle on that, Tim Swill. The stopping of the malls by Western Province in the game have been excellent. They really have been good. They've muscled up. No malls. More tries have been scored by the Bulls. Some look at the grunt work of Ruan Nokia. In over the ball, turnover. We're back in action here on the field. A similar to the toy in over the ball Alrach low contest. called a good contest by AJ Jacobs and free it comes on we play eventually forced to ground our province there sweeled over the top a delicate chip for Rickus Pretorius to chase and Stravino Jacobs ends up with the ball in his hands so dangerous in space Van Royen with a great offload some pure Matanzima. Wow, the ball was out and Tienison could have gone ahead there. He will be frustrated. Forster sees some space to kick into. Too long. Solid performance for him tonight. A lot of go forward. Like first half. He's been playing for so long, it always comes as a surprise to me to see that he's 27 years old stalwart for the Lions and a couple of injuries really stuttered his career but anytime he came back into that Lions fold it's one of the mainstays and may well find himself being that here across the Yuxke Fenta feeds Klaba the option this time a similar off to Sweel on the young well that one's landed betwixt and between. Edwell van der Merwe puts toe to ball, and this could just be a try. Got to pass. Edwell van der Merwe takes it himself and secures the hat trick. What kind of try is that that we've just witnessed? The pass from Juan de Jong bouncing on the ground, but the bouncing ball can often catch defenses sleeping. Edwell van der Merwe never sleeps. So he never sleeps. Tyler's his combination with Sergio Peterson. Not the cleanest of lineouts. The defense. Caught napping with a little chip through. The bounce is perfect. He's got the pace. He's got the sidestep. And he's taken Western Province to a try. Could have been his hat trick, but it's only his second. The kick is up. One last look at the try here. Edwell van der Merwe. Such an athlete. Had an option to the inside here in Tristan Lates. Backed himself because they're making the last tackle. That is the final Hooter sounding around this empty Loftus ground which awaits his faithful to return and there's only one way to get back there. Vaccination. Chris Smith launches it deep. Western Province want to get one last consolation try. They'll have to start from there. Dion Ferry, clearly keen. Sweel, Peterson, Juan de Jong. On the ball. Well marked on the, on the outside. Bulliller. Similar to Sweel. Rickus Pretorius. Fenter. Sweel now to Tristan Lates. Blue Bulls defense holding up spectacularly here late in the game. This defensive line impenetrable. Here's Rickus Pretorius. Sensation in youth rugby. 
he was on his way up into the Western Province team, now fighting to secure a starting berth at Western Province. Sergio Peterson offloads Edward van der Merwe, that combination finally not bearing fruit for Western Province. The chip over the top from Chris Smith, it's cheeky. And Tristan Lates puts toe to ball, and Jan Gorsen with an example of the kind of effort this number 10 gives to your team. Right to the very last whistle, diving for a potential try. And the Vodacom Bulls, on their home turf, win the first semi-final of the 2021 Carling Kerry Cup. They made it look easy in the end against the side which beat them in round one when they were missing pretty much half of their squad. They've set the record straight here this evening in the match that matters, and there's Ruan Norkia. How hard did he work? But it's hard to single out one of this Bulls pack. They've been spectacular. Cornell Hendricks, always a stellar player in the back line, and he proved it again today, the Springbok did. What a performance from the Bulls. What a performance from this coaching team, which has turned around the fortunes of the Vodacom Bulls. They won the Carlin Curry Cup in 2009, a long time between drinks before winning it again in the 2020 edition. The final, of course, played in January of this year. Jacques Van Rooyen, great addition to this team as well. The youth and experience perfectly balanced, and they're heading for a back-to-back -back home final in this competition. What an achievement from this side. Jake White and all involved. We will be back at Loftus next weekend for the Carlin Curry Cup final. We know one of the partakers, one of the protagonists. We just need to find out the other tomorrow. It's the Sharks taking on the Greek Wars, But here at Loftus, the Bulls win 48 points to 31. This is the game.